I'm a chemical engineer on a Syngas unit, and that's a unit that makes carbon monoxide and hydrogen. So it's um, high pressure gases, and I am responsible for optimising it to keep it running, um, fixing it when it goes wrong, and also in charge of all the modifications to make it better. When I studied chemical engineering at university, it was very theoretical. And now that I'm actually here, it's a lot more kind of practical problem solving. Um, a lot of different people that you see, so you've got to be able to get on with people from all sorts of backgrounds. One of the units I run is a furnace, and it actually uses hydrogen as a fuel source. So hydrogen burns with an invisible flame, which means that if there's a problem with one of the burners, you can't tell by looking at it. If you throw bicarbonate of soda into the air registers, you can see the orange flames track up the furnace. And as well as being really pretty, it's actually very practical because it means that we can see if there's any problems with the burners or there's any flames that have gone astray. So the furnace flames are around about 10 to 15 metres high and the furnace that they're in has 108 burners. Um, so there's plenty of places to throw the bicarbonate soda into. I became chartered um, because it's a professional qualification and it's a way of being recognised amongst your peers as a competent chemical engineer. 